So on the one hand, you're tired of the default Apple Calendar app and looking to make an upgrade. But on the other hand, you are on a tight budget and not looking to spend any extra money on a digital calendar. Well, you are in the right place as today I'm gonna to show you what I think is the best calendar app for Mac in 2021 in Fantastical 3 and whether the free version of this app is good enough to suit all of your needs. Hey guys, my name is Daniel Languish and I'm a current student who is focused on helping you in your process of digital organization and productivity. And I wanna give a shout out to Paul Black for this video because on a previous video he commented, please do a video on Fantastical for beginners and if it's worth using. Well, thanks for the suggestion, Paul. Today I'm gonna to cover Fantastical 3 and really focus on the design of the app the standout features, the free versus premium, what are the other options, and who should use it. And as always, the links to anything mentioned in this video will be down in the description below, right by the subscribe. With that being said, let's jump into our first category of design. I really love what the company Flexibits did with the design here of Fantastical. Compared to Apple's default calendar app, Fantastical is much more pleasing to look at with its contrasting colors and simple interface. This is an app that feels like it could have been designed by Apple. You also have three different themes, a standard Fantastical theme, a light theme, as well as a dark theme. And you have a lot of customization options for what events you want to show up on the calendar view. And speaking of views, you can switch between a day, a week, a month, and a year view, typical things that you would expect from a digital calendar app. And my favorite thing about this app is just how everything is organized. You have a mini month up in the top left corner, and then on the left side, you've got kind of a scrolling uh, list of all your upcoming events, and then the rest of the screen is dedicated to a month overview of all the things that you have going on. And I just really appreciate how I can see all the things I need to see just from one spot. I don't need to keep switching around. Now the next area is standout features and Fantastical is full of them. The most wonderful part about using Fantastical is the natural language recognition that is used when inputting calendar events. As you're typing out to the event, the app is able to sort out the different parts that you're typing so it can pick out the name of the event, your location, the time, and automatically put them into the correct location. And for me, this has just reduced all the friction when entering events. I'm able to just quickly type and it automatically puts everything where it needs to be. In addition, on Mac, you can actually hit a keyboard shortcut to pull up a mini view of Fantastical and you can just immediately start typing. So it's super fast to get your events in right away. Fantastical also gives you a forecast of the weather and with the free version, you get to see the next three days of the weather, which is helpful when looking ahead. And in the bottom left-hand corner, you can click to pull Pull up your to-dos that are connected to either Apple Reminders, Todoist, and so it's really cool that you're able to see your to-dos right within there. And Fantastical has a great iPhone app. It syncs across all your systems. Now you may have noticed that Fantastical has a free and a premium option. And unless you're made of money, unlike me, you are looking to see if the free version is enough to meet all of your needs. Well, let's run through the main things that the premium version gives you over the free version so you can decide for yourself. The premium version gives you multiple calendar sets, whereas the free version, you can only have one setup of your calendar. In the premium version, you're able to send out event proposals to other people to help figure out what time you wanna have things happen. You're able to create templates for events and tasks for things that you're doing a lot. With the premium version, you're able to actually create to-dos within the to-do menu, whereas the free version, you can only view your to-dos. The weather forecast, in the premium version goes up to 10 days, whereas in the free version, it's only three days. The premium version also includes an Apple Watch app, although I'll give you a little hack that you can just use the regular Apple Calendar app on your Apple Watch, and as long as you have that calendar syncing with Fantastical, the Apple Watch will still show you your calendar. The premium version has travel time for events, and you're able to do custom event colors, although I'll tell you that you can actually just go over to Google Calendar and change the color within there, and then it'll actually change the color for the event back in Fantastical. Another hack. And finally, the premium version includes attachment support, so you can attach files to your events, and it also includes custom time zones. So if you're changing time zones a lot, that might be important to you. And so the cost of the premium version is $4.99 a month, or $40 for the year, and you can actually get a 14-day free trial to see if it's worth it for you. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, 
uh, those are a lot of compelling features and for the right person, those might be things that you absolutely need. But for me, I was perfectly content just using the free version. I may think about upgrading down the road, but I really appreciate that Flexibits created a free version that is good enough that can meet all of my needs. I know there's a lot of calendar apps out there that kind of block the free version behind crippling features. And I haven't felt that with Fantastical. I really think the free version is good enough for most people. Now, what about other options? Well, the first one is obvious. You could just stick to Apple's default calendar app. And honestly, it works pretty well. It syncs across all your devices. It's got most of the features that you would need. I would say the biggest thing that you'd be missing is just when inputting tasks, Fantastical's natural language recognition, um, I find helps a lot more than the way entering tasks in Apple's calendar, but it can work for most people. And then another option, if you're wanting something a little out of the box, is this app called ItsyCal that actually puts your calendar up in the menu bar of your Mac. And so you can click and it pulls down a little calendar view and you're able to just have your calendar kind of out of the way and just in a nice small little area. That was another app that caught my attention I thought was really neat. And so the last question is who should use the free version of Fantastical? Well, first, the obvious thing is you need to be within the Apple ecosystem as Fantastical is only for Mac and iOS. And then I think the biggest thing is if you're someone who is entering a lot of events, like you've got lots of things, you're always entering events, then Fantastical is gonna be huge for you because it just speeds up that process so much. And last, if you're someone who likes to have all of your calendar information kind of organized right in front of you, I think you're gonna really like the layout of Fantastical. I have found it has really just simplified my process where I can just pull up my calendar and I don't really have to click around a lot. I can kind of see everything I need to see just from the main view. So you can decide later on if you think upgrading would be worth it, but for right now, I'm gonna be sticking with the free version. Now, like I mentioned earlier, if you wanna download Fantastical, I've got a link to it down down in the description below. And this isn't the only video I've done on productivity apps. I have other productivity videos, as well as a whole series of videos on the productivity app Notion. So if you're interested in any of those, click on one of the videos at the end card. But that's it for today. Until next time.